The Kalashnikov rifle. Simple and rugged. Easy to use and maintain. The original model, known as the AK-47, was invented by the Soviet soldier Mikhail Kalashnikov towards the end of World War II. Despite creating the most abundant firearm ever made, the Kalashnikov company is facing its own battles. The AK-47 was a mainstay of Soviet troops during the Cold War. But the rifle and its variants also became emblematic of the deadly proliferation of small arms, popular among gangsters and guerrillas. A symbol of anti-imperialist struggle and insurgencies. The red flag came down over the Kremlin tonight as President Gorbachev resigned and brought to an end seven decades of communist rule in the Soviet Union. The breakup of the Soviet Union hit the company hard. The Kalashnikov assault rifle became slightly outdated in the 90s and nowadays for the modern type of the warfare this is not the individual weaponry which uh, Russian army need now. State orders and investment dried up. Workers toiled on Soviet-era machines under a leaking roof. And the company appeared headed toward insolvency. The last few years have brought a new lease of life for the company. Factory communications were streamlined. No more using paper memos or landline telephones. Now, everyone has a smartphone. Mr. Tarasov said some employees didn't even have a toilet within walking distance. I said, I said, I said, I said, but they didn't вот и когда через полгода туалет появился, вот он сильно работает, люди начали уже верить. The changes were the result of a new partnership between state and private investors. 41-year-old Alexei Kriveruchko became CEO and brought in a new younger management team. Сформировали команду новую управленческую, то есть мы серьезно занимаемся развитием персонала, то есть мы They upgraded the factory, developed new products, and invested in marketing. Провели ну, диагностику всех наших тех, технологических процессов. То есть, соответственно, мы понимали, что нам, э, где у нас основные проблемы и что менять, в том числе и в, в подходах к производству не только оборудования, но и э, другие все процессы. Given its continued provocations in Ukraine, today I have approved a new set of sanctions on some of Russia's largest companies and financial institutions. Я очень удивился, что вроде при какой мы имеем отношение, а так я что получил его в мой день рождения. The US, where the company sold the bulk of its weapons, banned purchases in response to Russia's military actions in Ukraine. Ну, это тоже, ну, мы хотели быть более такой международной компанией. В условиях санкций это невозможно уже, конечно. Много ограничений возникает. Поменяли свою стратегию, соответственно, и Kalashnikov turned to Asia, where governments want arms with modern technology at competitive prices. Earlier this year, the company signed a deal to supply arms to Indonesia and is looking to sign contracts with Pakistan and the Philippines. Изделия Морал, калибра 308 Винчестер, с прямым перезаряжением. То есть очень удобно приехать и удобно предохранить. The company no longer manufactures the AK-47, but says its new weapons have the same advantages that made the rifle an international icon. Simplicity and reliability.
Now, the company's turnaround is a rare bright spot in Russia's stagnant economy. Analysts say the new investors at Kalashnikov have also benefited from ties to the Kremlin. Last year's revenues were $300 million. They're forecast to double this year. And what next for the company whose assault rifle has become a household name? Expansion into products like drones and powerboats.